Hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock, and I'm Pearl of Wisdom. Oh, we are with, yeah, well, maybe <laughs> it isn't. It's not when they feel like it o'clock. It's when I feel like it o'clock. That's what I should say. I. They have to do it. We did a uh, post flyers uh, podcast, and then um, after it was done, I realized there was a game tomorrow, which is because I'm giving you tonight. Tomorrow is tomorrow, whatever tomorrow is. And um, so I didn't let him leave. I just kind of kept him in the closet and told him you got to stay here. So we're here and we're doing it and we're doing the Dallas, Colorado prediction series we did on our last. How did we do it on our last series, Steel? How did we do it on that? Was there? Uh, well, uh, first <laughs> of all, thank you very much for having me because it's always really? a pleasure being with you guys, man, for sure. Um, look forward to it always, and it's always a, uh, a privilege to be in with you guys for sure. So, uh, okay, so I picked Dallas and or Colorado to be my sleeper team. Yes. And so now I'm kind of – I get a win-win on this no matter what happens because either way, Dallas or Colorado is going to come out of the West somehow, some way. So it's win-win for me all the way. This is one of the only ones that I actually yeah. – We'll just forget about the other series. <laughs> yeah. I, I was actually able to get the – predict that, that Dallas would actually move on and that Colorado would actually move on. So that's two series that I got right. Okay. Right. So, we, um, Joe, you're marking those down, right? I only got two. <laughs> Maybe I think I got another one right too because I think we picked the Flyers – on that one so that's three yeah. yay three all right. <laughs> all right. I would, it's all right well we i think i don't know what what we did we didn't i i think uh joe and i did I, pretty well on that yeah i had uh because i picked more based off of heart for the one series and i picked off of mind which we say never does you any good uh so i picked arizona and that didn't work um Rich so time. But uh, no, it wasn't Rick's fault. It was the fact that their defense forgot. No, him. you picked because uh, of Rick Todd. No, I picked and, because and of Darcy. Yeah, no, yeah. I picked mainly probably because of Darcy and then secondary because of how much I love Rick Tockett. Uh, but uh, the point being is either way, that was all because of heart and mind, and it didn't work. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but the Dallas series, I did pick them. And uh, yeah. they finally seemed to figure it out. I mean, they won a game where they were opportunists last game where they haven't done that all season, really. I mean, they haven't been a team that have been opportunist when it comes to scoring whatsoever, unless if your name is Dennis Gurionov when you've been, when you got called back. He's another guy that was down and up, but he was able to really establish himself, uh, obviously, when he was back up and then continuing into this postseason. So um, he's a guy that was kind of Johnny on the spot last game, too, in some of those goals, but... I mean, if he keeps carrying them, we know Joe Pavelski's kind of a Mr. Playoff type guy. So if he continues to look well, that's going to be a tough series. That series is going to be interesting to watch because, like we said before starting this, you got two pretty different teams here. One that plays a very defensive game other than last game when they played good defensively and all of a sudden scored seven straight goals. Only team to score seven unanswered goals to win a game in NHL history. Um, So... And imagine thinking the Stars are going to do that of all teams. So and they weren't even done yeah. after seven. <laughs> um, but the uh, then you have um, I almost said Anaheim, but the Avalanche that are the fourth best team in terms of offense, in terms of goals, and then one of the top ten teams in terms of getting on shots. So I think it's going to be a fun battle series to watch to see how Heiskanen, who's great youngster on defense for um Dallas does against these amazing players of the Avalanche because we know like Bowner said he just steps up time and time again for them. This is gonna be at least a six game series. Yeah. Yeah. Like easily, you know. That's that's a pretty good point though, because Heisken ends a plus four. You know what I mean? So that's a pretty good point too. And Klingberg's actually playing pretty well uh uh as well too. So I man, I'll tell you what. Um, I, I Colorado, I think is is got a lot of scoring depth, and it's going to be to me. I think it's going to be interesting to see how he's how they match up against Bishop, and how how he stands in there. You know what I mean? That's what I think is going to be the key for this one. 
If Bishop is if back. He's back, yeah, as long as he's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's definitely a contrast in styles in a lot of ways. But I, I think, for my money, I think Colorado can play more styles than Dallas in a lot of ways. Although in Cal- against Calgary, Dallas showed a side of them that they didn't show all season. However, yeah. they showed a side of them that they didn't show all season against the, I believe what was all, I always believed was the overrated Calgary defense. We talked about how I thought that Lucic was a lug and it was funny to hear all the Calgary fans saying, oh, Lucic is having a good game. Well, if that's his good game, sorry. Uh, anyways, yeah. Sounds like you're going to about that one, Pearl. Yeah. He's on a really good line. He was on a good line with Dubé and Bennett, and uh, they made, they propped him up and made him look all right. And every once in a while, he actually caught up to somebody and hit him, and he can be effective when he does that. Anyways, I don't want to talk too much about that because we're talking about this series. My <laughs> point was this is a deeper team that they're playing against. Uh, you're going to be your, – your third and fourth lines are going to be like Bellamar, Nieto, Calvert, uh, Valerie Nuchuskin, uh, Tyson Jost, these are grinding, tough players. Like, you don't think of that when you think of Colorado. But they do have a lot of guys that can wear you down and grind you down. Not to mention they have the defense of Graves, Gerard, McCarr, Zadaroff, Cole, Eric Johnson. You line that up against Calgary's defense, which is good, by the way. Not that good. And then the goaltending situation. Talbot played the best that Talbot could play. But um, I think in the long, I think I would take Grubauer over Talbot any day. I personally think the way Dallas played, I, I think you get you, like what you were saying, Steele, you kind of got to give them uh, at least a two games, I think. You know, they 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 yeah. played hard enough to earn the rights for two games. Well, they went four and one against them in, during the regular season. Okay. You know what I mean? Dallas was four and one against Colorado in the regular season. So, it it. I, I mean, yeah. Dallas has got Heiskin in, and they've got Lindell, and they've got a really yeah. solid defense there as well. They just um, need more depth scoring. Corey Perry's been amazing for them. And, uh, like, they got M. Pavelski and that leadership and stuff like that. If they have an edge, it's probably there. And Rick Bonus has been coaching better than I thought he would. So, yeah, which is nice know. to see because he's been in the game for a long time. So it's nice to see him uh, look good there. But they need guys like Fosca, who's had some solid games, who only had 12 goals on the season, to, to look um, pretty good for them. And then one of the best names in the game, along with uh, – Cutter Buck uh, is a uh, Rupe Hint, uh, who had uh, 19 goals uh, on the season. They need him to step up a little bit. That's why if uh, I ever saw an announcing job open for Dallas, I would apply right away just to just like, so you can say that, just to announce his game. Just his name. I would just play Rupe with the. It's goal. actually. Do you know what? It's actually Rupe Hints. Oh really? Rupe Hints, but he oh, doesn't God. care what anybody calls him. Yeah. So, it looks like Rupee, so they call him Rupee, and that's fine. And it so sounds like, better. Rupee so like sounds three good. best names. So Rupee is one, and 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 Clutterbuck, and then Shattenkirk. Shattenkirk, yeah. You got a little yeah. Shattenkirk in your clut- Clutterbuck there, buddy. Yeah, you got a little Shattenkirk in your Clutterbuck there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Rupee <laughs> loves her name. She, she loves to just... Here, Clutterbuck and Shattenkirk and yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's getting gonna late. Tough, it's gonna be a tough series because exactly what 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 you guys said. Dallas needs to step up. They need their scoring depth. And I, but I think that Colorado is going to be a little bit. They have shown that they have played very well. In the last series, even though Dallas played very well, too, and even though I think that because of Dallas have, having the edge over them and during the regular season, and either way, I, I slice it, I win on this one because Dallas or Colorado, I don't really care because I picked both of them to come out. So either one, but I would probably like to see Colorado do this. Yeah, I'd like to see Colorado do this. 
Yeah, I, I would. Would how about? I remember I was saying that before the last series that I didn't want Dallas to win simply because of the style of game they have. But kudos to Rick Bonus. Kudos yeah. to Rick Bonus that he's obviously been working a more aggressive system in there. And uh, now I can say, bring the guy back because if Dallas can play that way. They do have a team that should be, like I said, it was a waste of talent, but yeah. they do have a team. And if they can play that way against Colorado, they're gonna have they're gonna have a they're gonna give it a go for sure. No doubt about it. With that veteran leadership, I'm a little like I'm not completely bullish on Colorado after seeing what they did to Calgary there. Um, I, I as much as I, I thought I would be going into the season. Going into this, because I actually said I don't care who wins a Calgary Dallas series because they're not going past that. So <laughs> uh, I call myself out. Don't worry about it. I do. Hey, uh, that's okay. We all do, man. We all do. I call myself <laughs> out. I said that, but uh, but honestly, now they got me to think. Rick Bonus has uh, did some adjustments there, allowed them to have a little more freedom to be able to play a more creative game, an aggressive game, and. Uh, uh, who knows what they can do, especially if you said, like, if Bishop can come back, eh, Joe? Yeah, if Bishop can come back, that makes a huge difference. I mean, Hudobin has been very good in setting a mark for himself coming into a free agent class as well. Uh, so that's been uh, good to see for him as he comes into a free agent class. But that does make a big uh, difference for him. Uh, I think this series is two teams... I mean, Dallas is a team I've always liked on paper. They never played until recently. How I've uh, wanted to see them play with the team they had on paper, where the other team in Colorado has consistently played like you want to see them play and has been one of the more yeah. fun teams to watch. Yeah. So if there, if Colorado's consistency holds through and then there's inconsistencies again with the Stars, then that's going to present problems against the Avalanche where it's not going to present as many problems against a team like the Calgary Flames. So that's why I believe the Avalanche will probably win this series in six. I think it'll go again. I think it's going to be a great series, but I think they'll win. But again, with how they have the stars playing more aggressive, this one's almost a close call uh, where I'm, leaning a little bit towards I think Colorado will because of their consistency win and Dallas doesn't have consistency usually other than that if they look like they did in that final game then yeah this could go seven games it's just going to be a battle it could be a battle of goaltender at that point and if Ben Bishop's back then I think you would probably have to give that to Dallas you think over Grubauer you think that yeah, I would think so if Ben Bishop. Okay. Back, if Ben Bishop's back. back, yeah, I would definitely give the goaltending to Dallas for sure, no doubt about okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. One guy that I haven't really noticed for Dallas, now that I think about it, and that's the funny thing about not noticing people, you forget about them, <laughs> is Radulov. I really yeah. don't – I haven't heard really Radulov's name much at all in the series. Uh now that I mentioned, I've heard Cogliano's name more, and and you mentioned Roddy Fox has got to step up, but I've actually heard his name more in games than uh, Radulov. I, I don't know if he's injured or what's going on there. The one factor we that you mentioned earlier, Joe, that really something that's going to be interesting to see is this this Gurianov kid coming into his. They've been talking about this kid for a long time. He's taken a while to get going. But the talk about Gurianov in the league is this kid's going to be a 40-goal scorer. And has he reached that, like, aha moment of his career where yeah. he just starts potting him here in this, this season? Yeah. And, and if that's boy, look the case, he does. That, if that's the case, that this out. could be, like, uh, definitely a seven-gamer, no doubt about it. Like, you get a kid like that that's hot, it can really change a series real quick. Yeah, yeah, especially when you got good old Rupe there with him. So, you know. Rupe, <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to say that name again. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, good. Well, I should say good young Rupe there with him. Yeah, there you go. Good old yeah, you go. Working a saying when you have a guy that's like my age. So, yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't really work that well. But <laughs> okay, boys and girls, we thought we 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 stayed up. We put the midnight oil out for you here. Yeah, so man. So we could bring you this fine programming. We are looking at all of us, Dallas and six, or sorry, Columbia, Colorado and six. We've got Columbus on the brain. Colorado, Colorado Can you stop and six. already? Okay, Tortorella yeah. is out. All right, mm-hmm. seriously. Yeah. So he's out. Yeah. I'm going to be saying that then when Colorado wins a series, I'm going to be saying that it was because Tortorella. <laughs> Columbus. Really, it's really Columbus instead of. <laughs> right, because Columbus is CLB or CBO, and yeah, okay. <laughs> Tortorella had waffles this morning, and that made it so Colorado was able to get Game Seven. Hey, hey, I do. Keep I talk reaching about, for that one. I do talk about, <laughs> yeah, it'll be like the Tim Tebow when everybody reported on everything he was doing in his life. It's like Tim Tebow just purchased a Whopper. And uh, yeah. now eating that said Whopper. <laughs> it's like, oh. oh, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, that's our full 42. This has been Steel Flyers. Steel Flyers, you want to tell about the website and all the stuff you guys Yeah, got man. www.steelflyers.com, a one-stop shop. You can get links to all these great guys, links to uh, the Professor Joe, and links to uh, Pearl of Wisdom. Um, also, you can check out all of our great videos and all of our great podcasts, One Stop Shop, SteelFlyers.com. Follow me on Twitter at SteelFlyers52. And Joe, he said we can we can find our stuff on Steel Flyers. He just told you about that, so I won't tell you about mine, except you know what people are doing? A lot of people in the land are subscribing and hitting the bell. Yeah. So you might want and to try like, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And give us some right. comments, too. Yeah, that works out for you. All right. Uh, you can find me i write for ot heroics and pub sports radio along with flyers nitty gritty and as you said we're all on steelflyers.com check that out and uh also disciples of ed podcast with always next year podcast is another uh flyers podcast we started back up other than just our chasing the pennant baseball podcast so uh we're going to be doing another episode sunday on that um which i guess will be before the game that's probably going to be sunday um okay. i would think uh but we'll see when we get our game scheduled yeah. but i would say it would be before that but either way stay tuned for that but it's been a blast and uh Always. yeah uh let's talk about more hockey soon and let's enjoy the hockey tomorrow like i always say because this is going to be a fun series like we all said six games at least so yeah easily yes. six We'll have the rest of the series coming up in the next couple of days. I know you'll be on the edge of your seats. Thank you for coming in and listening to this fine programming. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Peace out. <laughs>